Hi, I'm Andrew Berry, and welcome to At The Bench's YouTube channel. For us jewelers, this time of year, Christmas is a very stressful and a very busy time for us. And the one piece of equipment that you really must take care of at Christmas time and also throughout the whole year are your hands. You always neglect your hands. I know that I always forget how delicate your hands are um, and we often cut them. We actually sort of saw into them when we slip with the piercing saw blade and so forth. So it pays to look after your hands, your number one tool. We use uh, a lot of hand cream because your hands are constantly being washed. They are with all sorts of acids, uh, liver sulfur and that sort of thing. And you, your hands just dry up. And if your hands dry up, well then your skin invariably will crack. So we use hand cream, we use various hand creams. And if you're a bloke and you're watching this, don't be afraid to use a hand cream on your hands, especially on your fingertips. This is where the skin takes the most beating and abrasion. We use, um, I'm not telling you this is what you should use, but here in our workshop, we use some different types of hand cream. The one that, that a lot of the reps that come around sort of uh, suggested to me is something because called Snowfire. This is a solid stick. You simply rub onto your, perhaps your tips of your fingers, where there's perhaps maybe some, some, um, some dry skin, some slight cracks come in, and you just simply rub that into your finger. Really good. Smells a little bit as well. Uh, camphor, I think that smells of. It's very, very good. We also use uh, some uh, something called Neutrogena. This is a Norwegian fishermen apparently use this. This is um, a non-perfume type. This is what we like to use is non-perfumed. Um, simply squeeze that onto your palm there. Take a small little bit, it doesn't take much. Rub that into your tips of your fingers as well. Make sure you rub it into all the cuticles. Make sure that your fingertips are nice and, and, and uh, nourished. And also another one that we also use is something called Dermaguard. That comes in a pump dispenser here and that's always by our sink. And once you've washed your hands a few times, a couple of pumps of that onto your hand, rub it in, really does look after your fingers. So, by having nice soft fingers, it, it does help your fingers and, and stops it from cracking. I've got quite a nasty split on the end of my right thumb, which is quite unusual because normally it's your left hand that gets the most beating because that holds the pieces of jewelry whilst you're filing or whilst you're, you're sawing. Um, so I really do have to take care with that. So when it comes to something like doing some polishing on some polishing mops, you need to protect your fingers if you're using um, your polishing silver because silver does conduct the heat really, really quickly. And again, we've got some little guards that we use. These are some little leather finger guards that we pop over our fingers. That's one that fits quite nicely over perhaps your index finger. And also these are some brand new ones. We haven't actually used these with a bit of elastic on the back. And that would simply perhaps go over your thumb to hold that in place like that. And then whilst you're polishing, you can have a ring that you're polishing or a disc, or whatever, and you can polish it and your fingers won't get hot and they won't get dirty either because this is another problem. You get all that polish coming off ingrained and ground into your fingers. And sometimes it's a damn nuisance trying to get that dirt out. So something like this will stop your fingers getting really, really dirty and also it'll protect from the heat as well. Don't try and use a pair of gloves. Uh, the number of accidents I have heard about where people have worn gloves when they're polishing, um, they've got it on the polishing mops, perhaps the glove will catch in a polishing mop and it'll whip the glove away. Um, accidents can happen. Something like these little finger protectors here are ideal if the mop happens to catch these, it's not gonna take your hand, it's just simply gonna whip the ends off. Your fingers are gonna be intact, your arms are gonna be intact. So I would never personally wear gloves when it comes to working with jewelry and especially working with, uh, with the, um, electrical equipment, with rotary tools. For me, it's just far, far too dangerous. 
Another product that a lot of you know of is something called alligator tape. This is available in rolls. This is quite a narrow one. This is in the region of about 18, 19 millimeters in width. And we've got several rolls of this um, around on our benches in, in the drawers because I find this is absolutely brilliant, especially for working um, around Christmas time when you wanna protect your fingers when you're working at the bench. These are great for polishing, not really ideal for when you work at the bench. For me, they're a little bit too clumpy, but this alligator tape, you can get it in a wider width, but this is the narrow one, is ideal because the finger protection, uh, the protectors that you make, you can always take off when you go and serve a client, come back, put them back on. Um, simply wrap it around your finger. It's as simple as that. Don't do it too tight, otherwise you'll find you'll lose your circulation in the ends of your fingers. You can wrap it round, it's slightly tacky, it'll stick to itself, rip it off, and you've got a nice bit of protection on your finger like that if you've got a nasty cut or your fingers are getting quite sore. But I've got a little um, method to protect uh, my fingers using this type of tape. I'll do it on my left hand here. What I do, I tend to, but if I want to make a nice thumb protector, I'll get it tape and I'll hold it there and I'll just wrap it around perhaps two or three times. So that's my base, sort of base layer. I want to protect the tip of my thumb here. So I'll get another strip and I'll make that run about three to four inches in length. I will simply fold that in half. It sticks to itself. Then I will put the one half on the front part, my pad of my thumb, bring it around and put it onto the other half. So I got a bit of protection over the tip. Then I'll get the tape again and I'll just gently, not tightly, gently wrap that around my finger a few times. And that now has given me a nice bit of protection on the front, the pad of my thumb. Fingers are not gonna get hot and sweaty. We've got a little bit of holes on the side. Absolutely brilliant. It really does protect your thumb, whether you're even polishing, whether you're buffing, you're filing, or working on a piece of jewelry. Customer comes in, you gotta go and serve them. because you haven't put this on too tight, you can simply pull it off, put it on the side of your bench, go and serve a customer, come back, get it, put it back on your finger, and away you go. It's as simple as that. I love this type of tape, and you really should make sure that you Sort of prevention is better than a cure. Don't wait until your fingers are really, really sore. Don't wait until they're split, like this one here. Just make up a few of these, put them over the ends of your finger, loosely wrap that around them. Not loosely, but you know, comfortably so it stays onto your finger. So you've got a nice bit of protection on both fingers. And those will really help to prolong the life of your fingers, especially now Christmas time. Very, very busy for us. Customer comes in, they simply come off, go and serve, as I just said, and they will slip straight back on. So always pay us to look after your fingers. These are your number one tools. Without these, you're not going to be able to perform your duties. You're not gonna be able to do anything at all. If you've got nasty cuts, nasty bruises, they're really, really sore, it's gonna be painful for you to work throughout the day. So look after your hands, put some cream on your hands, make sure they're nice and supple, make sure they're not too dry. If they're dry, they will split. And I'll tell you what, that little, just a little cut on the side of my thumb there really, really does hurt. So look after your fingers, cream on them, get a bit of protection on your fingers, and you'll have lovely looking hands at the end of the day. Don't forget, please subscribe if you haven't done already. Take that little bell notification, Click on that so you're notified when more films go live on At The Bench. Please give it a thumbs up if you like this film, share it with your friends, and leave a comment if you want to down below. In the meantime, my name's Andrew Berry for At The Bench's YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and see you on the next film. Take care, bye bye.